pieces of some lesser version of him. We're seeing it now, and that's what I mean, and, and it's happening. They know it was an ugly loss last week, but Tom Brady said, think about it this way, in New England, uh -uh. I threw tens of thousands of footballs with my guys here because of circumstances. He said he's lucky if he's gotten a hundred. I'm going to cry, guys. So they know that this is a process. Observe Brady reading the playoff as well. I don't know why. Why am I crying? Holy shit. This is just absolute greatness for a guy who loves sport. For this guy to go to a new team and bring this team around him and, and, and win them a Super Bowl, I mean, sports stories just don't happen like this. They just don't. But yet, it did. I can't believe it. I'm actually tearing up. We haven't even got into this. I love this man. All right, my friends. How are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Jacob McDonald and I am here today to pay tribute to the greatest football player, the greatest American football player. Don't get that confused with soccer. Um, I call soccer soccer. I'm going to call football American football. Okay, so when I say football on this channel, I mean American football. Now, I'm doing uh, this man, this greatest of all time player, Tom Brady, justice today. Today I had one mission and one mission only and that is to make reaction videos. Um, I've decided to finish it off, finish this morning's reaction videos off with, with Tom Brady and uh, Joseph Vincent's documentary about his run to his seventh Super Bowl title. This happened a mere month ago actually. Today's date is February the 24th. I think the Super Bowl must have been couple of weeks ago, probably two and a half weeks ago, and we now know that Tom Brady went to the Bucks, his second ever team in the NFL. He spent 19 years, or was it 20, with the Patriots, and um, finally came to the end of his, his time there, left the great coach Bill Belichick, and went to the Buccaneers. Now, he not only went to the Bucks, but he then started forming this team around him that he believed could be successful. Um, he believed could assist him being the quarterback, being the general of the offense to uh, win his seventh title and bring the first title to a fair few other players, including two of my favorite players, Leonard Fournette and the guy who I'm repping, Antonio Brown. If nothing else, I want to say a huge thank you to Tom Brady for bringing a Super Bowl ring to Leonard Fournette, my favorite player in the league, a guy who's been doubted, um, but a guy who I've always backed and I will back for the rest of his career, however long or short that may be. The Bucks are the 2021 Super Bowl champions, and they were led by this man, Tom Brady. I've spent this morning doing a deep dive on Tom Brady. We looked at, uh, first of all, we looked at an interview in 2005, uh, 2005 which was incredible, um, after he'd won three Super Bowls. And he got asked a question, what was your favorite? What is your favorite ring? What was your favorite ring? And he said, the next one. That call is legendary. I will never forget it now. And so we've watched the documentary by Joseph Vincent titled uh, Five Rings. We've watched six rings, and we're about to watch seven rings. This is 39 minutes long. It's the longest one of the lot. And, uh, well, I just hope you've got your popcorn or your caffeinated beverage or even an alcoholic beverage ready because we're going to sit down and enjoy this one um, together and really cap off this, this day of reaction videos right. So if I could just hit the record button and uh, let's get into this. Tom Brady, Seven Rings. Brought to you by Upstart.com. It's tough out there right now. And financially, we could all use a Look, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm going to have to skip. To $50,000. Board film. Find out how Upstart can help you by clicking the link in the description. Jeff, this is great. Joseph Vincent, you deserve all of the monetary uh, reward for making videos like this that you can get. And I want to say I'm sorry that I had to skip that, but it needed to be done. Breaking and coming in as we speak, but we are being told that Tom Brady 
is expected to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. I heard the first thing Tom Brady did after he signed with the Bucs is he's like, yo, I want every teammate's phone number so I can reach out to them. Personally. Yes, yes, yes. Every fan in America was curious to see how Every teammate's phone number so he can reach out to them personally. Antonio Brown lived at Tom Brady's house for the two weeks up to the Super Bowl. This guy is a team player if you ever did see one. And, and, and so... You know, that just adds to the greatness of this man. We're 15 seconds into this video and I've, I've stopped it already. I apologize. Let's go. How the goat, if you will, that's what they call him. How he would perform in pure and orange. Brady Keats. In a pandemic year, there was no preseason. That's Chris Godwin. Who broke out last year. Godwin. Evans. Gronk. Fournette. Jones the second, Cameron Brake balled out in the Super Bowl. I mean, the list goes on, guys. If I've missed anyone, I'm sorry, but... but. And that's just the offensive side of the ball. I'm sorry, but Brady is on the offensive side of the ball, so we're going to focus on that today. Tom Brady would be joining a new team with a new system. Take it in for the touchdown. It's different when you go to a different conference, right? Fuck yeah! This is that you're seeing. It's a major adjustment. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, boy! 43 years old doing the Gronk spot. It's the Super Bowl caliber team that have been together for many seasons. Led by another legend, Drew Brees. Forty-three. There's a reason that the Patriots stepped away from him. Oh, for God's sake! And that's not even Max Kellerman. The struggles were not pretty, and the media wasted no time in jumping into the he's washed narrative. He's a system quarterback who has played in a great system that has produced a lot of wins. You gotta look bad. Now, out of twenty, out of twenty-eight quarterback, he was twenty-third. Can you uh, uh, with a thirty-three QBR? Is Tampa right now that team you watched yesterday? Are they a threat to make a deep playoff run? No. That the Bucks aren't doing anything special, aren't making the playoffs with or without Tom Brady. He is not that guy. This isn't Tom Brady anymore. This is some lesser version of him. We're seeing it now. And that's what I mean. And, and it's happening. They know it was an ugly loss last week, but Tom Brady said, think about it this way, in New England, uh -uh. through tens of thousands of footballs with my guys here, because of circumstances, he said he's lucky if he's gotten a hundred... I'm gonna cry, guys. So they know that this is a process. Observe Brady reading the playoff as well. I don't know why. Why am I crying? Holy shit. This is just absolute greatness for a guy who loves sport. For this guy to go to a new team and bring this team around him and, and, and win them a Super Bowl, I mean, sports stories just don't happen like this. They just don't. But yet, it did. I can't believe it. I'm actually tearing up. We haven't even got into this. I love this man. Brady's greatest weapon is mine. I love this man. <laughs> no homo. Oh shit. Scotty Miller. Here, both Evans and Brady read the corner is playing over the top. Brady places the ball on Evans' back shoulder. This is Tom Brady, and this is Mike Evans working in practice, being on the same page, reading the exact same look. And adjusting Let's go, baby. The With that many changes in the offseason, it would take a while to mesh and come together. And then who comes in after eight games? No, was it eight? Was it eight games? 
whatever it was this man this man right here and he just added he was he was a third or fourth string like wide receiver antonio brown these are the kind of mental mistakes that cost us a game last week guys had a couple of drops on tom brady throws today Touchdown. The media continued to criticize Brady, glossing over the touchdowns that were dropped. There are so many Brady haters. There are so many millions of people in this country sick and tired of seeing. I am Tom not a Brady, Brady hater. The stage in the sport. And it's dropped. Like I said, I love this man, and love is the complete opposite of hate. But they're both just emotions, Tom Brady is and they can be changed. Chargers exploded to a 17 point lead. Got the separation, touchdown, Tyron Johnson just elevated off the practice squad. The worries about the Bucks being all hype were strengthening. The rookie versus the veteran. In fact, the offensive rookie of the year, believe it or not. You have Tom Brady, you know the offense has shown that it can consistently move the ball. As the Brady led Bucks Jones. were now in danger of falling to two and two. Solid catch. And that was Mike Evans. 8.30 to go in the third quarter. Play action fake. Dropping Brady. Looks toward the end zone. Brady throws toward O.J. Howard. 28-yard touchdown pass on second down and eight. And O.J.'s got his second touchdown grab of the season. And the Bucs narrow the gap. It's 24-20. In a blink, the Bucs had erased the deficit. You got all these guys yeah. who have this stigma over them that they were really tough guys to get to buy in. He will take your misfit. Gotta love a bit of Scotty Miller. Undersized, but overperforms. The Chargers struck again. Kind of like Hunter Renfro. In his long history in New England, Brady has built a legend on coming back from adversity, but his Bucks teammates had never seen it from him. Until now. Inside the 15-yard line to the seven by Gavin. Delivering another double-digit comeback. 3-2-1, touchdown. See, and I guess that game started the real belief in that team that they could do it, you know? It's like, shit, we've watched this guy do it over and over and over again for this team called the Patriots, but now he's on our team. And we actually did that with him. Tampa Bay behind Tom Brady. I don't know if we do it without Tom Brady. As for Brady's teammates, after seeing his heroics firsthand, this is how they viewed their new quarterback. Is that the gladiator? <laughs> Still cooking after all these years. This is a young man who patiently waited for his chance to play and then had to withstand the challenge of Drew Henson. He never complained, he just pulled. Michigan, now trying to find two touchdowns. He goes that way, he's got to turn around. That's all you need. Sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes that's all you can get. Tom Brady did it. Your own self belief. Michigan quarterback, here's what he's done so far. He's in again, touchdown, Michigan. 
We thought maybe Michigan had put itself in a hole too deep to climb out of it. It's 28 to 20. Overtime at the 66th FedEx Orange Bowl. It's Michigan on offense first at the 25 yard line. Brady, nice play fit. What a catch that was. What a catch. He went out and got it, didn't he? Snatched, snatched it out of the air. It's just a masterpiece. It's a thing of beauty. It's clutchness beyond comprehension. The growing pains showed themselves again in week five. Pressured all night and hindered by 11 penalties that killed three separate scoring drives. Down goes Off the edge, making the play. The Bucks looked lost in prime time. Personal foul, offense number 66. 15 yard penalty, the down foul is gonna be second down. Holding, <laughs> Big boy getting into it. Is Tom in Tampa because he wants to be in Tampa, or is he in Tampa because there were no other options? Yesterday, it looked like he wasn't Tom Brady in that final drive. It looked like he was some neophyte quarterback, which is why we're making it into a thing. Worse still, Brady seemingly thought he had an extra play. Drop it up, and the Chicago Bears are going to take over. DeAndre Houston Carson was there. This defeat signaled to the trolls that Brady was washed. Shit. Okay, I didn't realize that. So he, he thought it was a third down. Tom Brady thought it was a third down when it was a fourth. That would have given the trolls a shitload to talk about. That's not good. And without Belichick, he was nothing but a senile old man. Senile Tom Brady needs a cognitive test. Oh, for God's sake. Now, because he has not fit the lead. It's a story I've told in numerous other Brady videos. The sixth round draft pick. Don't tell me this is actually Joseph Vincent talking. It's not. That no one believed in. At the combine, when you watch Tom. <laughs> That's a 5 2 8 40 yard dash. You saw this tall, gay looking kid. Looked like you haven't ever seen a weight room. In 32 years of doing this, we talked about 576 quarterbacks. He was number 576. Uh, Belichick was fortunate enough to have Brady drafted in the sixth round. Dick Brady by. Look, I'm going to give this guy some credit. Okay, look at his physique. In right, people give him years shit. Of doing this, we talked about 500. Bro, he's got a decent chest. He was number. Look, he's got some chest. Not so much with the arms, but look, as far as his back genetics, they're not bad. Uh, he's got that. He's got that upper. You know, upper um, upper chest, shoulder, upper back, and, and mid middle back power that's allowing him to throw the ball. I mean, he's got it. He's kind of like a UFC fighter. They don't look the biggest. They're never going to be the, the, the most showy, unless you're talking about, you know, Tyrone Woodley or Yoel Romero. But as far as a, a normal everyday fighter the, the best of them are usually not that physically imposing or physically impressive but the muscle memory required for that respective sport is there and that's all you need enough to have Brady drafted in the six as well as some smarts I'm Dick Brady by his recommendation I was there for that workout in Michigan so uh, I don't know if he's going to do any good <laughs> Tom Brady of pick 198 goes to the New England Patriots he didn't get drafted to pick 199 the sixth round a lot of people don't believe in it has been is obvious by you know six other quarterbacks taken and 198 other picks and I always thought you know what once I get my shot I'm going to be ready you just signed a hundred million dollar contract. The last right. thing you're thinking is this six round pick out of Michigan is going to take your job. No, no, that was the last thing on my mind. Talk to me about your favorites. Talk to me about your favorites. Is it? Yeah, just talk about it. Let my girl okay? Six. The ball for the first time, Drew Bledsoe, now in his ninth year, just 500 yards away from joining that 30,000-yard club out of Washington State. He was right in my hip pocket all the time trying to learn, uh, so I figured he'd be like a 10, 11-year backup. That's kind of what I figured he'd be. Zero's in on Bledsoe. They've not sacked Bledsoe today, and that's quite in contrast to last year. And it's Bledsoe. 
Whoosh! Was that an injury to get Tom Brady in? It's the first time I've seen this guy bled so. His injuries will thrust second year backup Tom Brady into the starting role for the Sunday's matchup. I tell you what, looking at that Brady right there, I wouldn't know whether that's 43 year old Brady or 21 year old Brady. I wouldn't. Do you ever get this opportunity? Because you never know how many you're going to get. Uh, and when you do get your opportunity, they're going to take advantage, especially how competitive this league is and, and how good you know, every team you play is. Most were buried. Look at that stadium. Is that Tampa Bay Stadium? Wow. Super Bowl favorite, Green Bay. And the future season MVP, Aaron Rodgers. He reminds me of Tony Hawk. You know what I mean? He reminds me of Tony Hawk. He, he's that he's that legendary. And they actually look kind of similar. Sort of. Kind of. Honestly, I'm surprised there's not a Tom Brady football game. I don't think people realize... As in, like, PlayStation game. How yes. difficult it is. In fact, there probably is. Let me see. Tom Brady football video game. Tom Brady football. <laughs> no. No, of course not. Uh, does Tom Brady have a video game? Uh, no. To win with another team. You are going to a different system. Yes. You are, he's going to a different conference, so he's playing different teams pretty much all together. Yeah. But here's what Tom Brady is. Yeah. Tom Brady is a culture. Imagine these guys at the Buccaneers, these younger guys, catching passes from the legend Tom Brady. And now the entire culture is Tom Brady's Those are career moments, you know, for these guys. <laughs> Gronkowski was once the most dominant tight end in NFL history. Rise him right off the field and into the television truck. And I think you see him flapping his fingers saying that guy's. Oh boy, is that a fucking flag? God damn. Yes, he was just yapping to me the whole time, and uh, that's why I took him and threw him out of the club. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Boofa! I've seen Edelman do that a few times, I'm telling you. He's a fucking beast. If Tampa Bay can bring Edelman to the team, in fact, I've seen reports, I've seen whispers of Edelman wanting a release. In fact, let's let's look that up. Because if they can do that, oh my god. Edelman to Buccaneers. Bucks predicted to reunite star Patriots receiver with Tom. Edelman admits to rooting for Brady with the Bucks during an interview. Edelman admitted he is rooting for Brady. Uh, I want to see those guys do well. Will Edelman join Brady in Tampa? ESPN's Bill Barnell. Barnwell. Predicts playmaking receiver Julian Edelman will be a Patriots cap casualty this offseason, making him a free agent, which would allow him to join his best buddy, Tom, in Florida. Okay, so he is a free agent. He's going to the Bucks. <laughs> He's going to the Bucks, no fucking doubt. How good. Gronk retired. Gronk at tight end. Godwin. Brown, Evans, Edelman, Leonard Fournette, and Ronald Jones the second. Let's fucking go. After 2018, but have been lured to Tampa Bay by Tom Brady. Okay, I'm you got a lot left. 
Tom Brady coming in and getting the job done so fast, we're talking about seven weeks, is that Brady effect. Him stepping into the building and making everyone better. Mm -hmm. We say this about leadership. Brady off the fake. Now, time. now, as the season progressed, the legendary Gronkowski was rounding back into form. That's our chance. That's what you want. He's got it for a touchdown. Back to back weeks. Rob Gronkowski finding the end. I'll tell you what, over the years at the Patriots, when, when Brady needed someone to catch the ball, he went to Gronk. Brady came here. Brady turned the new black hole into a Michael Bay movie. Including the throw of the year. Cut for a touchdown! I mean, come on. You want to talk about bread basket right there. I mean, he's throwing it into a five-level bucket. Here you go. Yeah, and he's throwing it to an undersized 5 foot 9, 180 pound receiver too. For the touchdown. Oh. Isn't that sick? Hang on, let's let's see exactly when he was gonna throw it, okay? So for the touchdown. Let's go. That might have been about three minutes. That was six inches short. Now when okay, so Lennon Fournette roll, rolls out. It's a play action. Lennon Fournette's probably looking for that pass, but this number 29 stays on him really effectively. Right? So the next best option is Miller, who's coming across, but 27 breaks him up this 33 is 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 there but he's stationary um which means that he's going to be effective jumping but as far as getting back up to acceleration to to cover this pass he's not going to do it and then we've got godwin now he's pretty stationary too but he sees tom brady rolling out he sees this opportunity he's calling out for it he knows he's got the pace over these two guys if tom brady just fires this Fires this out in front, just past these defenders, Godwin's gonna go and get it, and that's exactly what happens. What a fucking pass. What a pass! At the behest of Brady, the Bucks signed controversial receiver, Antonio Brown, who was finally coming back from suspension. Guess who's back, baby? Oh, yes. See? I'm telling you, I backed that guy too. I backed him. And he did it. He's doing it. receiver Antonio Brown is with his fourth team in the last 20 months and he makes his Buccaneers debut tonight after serving an eight game suspension for violations of the NFL's personal contract. I get fucking serious when I talk about this guy. It's, there's no joke anymore. There's no joking. They took football away from this man and he fought tooth and nail to get back and he did and now he's a Super Bowl champion. There ain't no jokes here. I'm not being sarcastic. I backed this man to do it and he did it. The Bucks got their long awaited rematch with the Saints. You play almost half your schedule every year against the same division opponents. Right. He knows the I'm deadly serious when it comes to things like that. Oh, Bill's inside. Oh, it's third down and ten. Four man rush. And now he's playing the Saints twice and he got curb stopped twice. Smith for the touchdown. Trey Quan Smith. Now in week nine. Things were meant to be different, but they weren't. They were arguably worse. And that will be caught. That's Adam Troutman for the touchdown. Because of the manner in which the Saints have so manhandled the Bucks in the two occasions. And last night, it was 38-0. Perhaps it was forcing Brown into the lineup. Perhaps it was just too big a moment for this building Bucks team. Either way, they were beaten down by their most 
bitter rival. To say Tom Brady's struggle is a slap in the face to struggling. <laughs> Thomas Ed 38 to 3. Winston Brady Sr. Holy shit. The Saints did not hesitate to rub it in. Posting videos of the Bucks QB from the year prior, dancing and eating W's. The Bucks were reeling when they faced the Rams in prime time. Despite some spectacular plays from the receivers, and it's a touchdown. the Bucks would suffer another defeat. Seven and four. That the Bucks were frauds. I want you to mark down this tape, Rob G, and remember it. This is a fraud. Tom Brady's washed. The Tampa Bay Bucks are no good. It's May 6th. I want back in <laughs> God, there's some hate around the league, isn't there? Or, you know, going back to what I said before, they just need to make arguments on these talk shows. They'll say what they need to do to get headlines to get those you know snippets those sound bites um so that these news reporting stations and youtube channels can get views i mean if that's the case and they're not actually telling the truth what they believe because of the fact that they just want views that's fucked up that's a sellout um i'm always going to be completely honest and unbiased about things and and that's because i live in, an, in another country if i oh no, you know what, if I was American, if I did grow up with football, I feel like I'd still be unbiased. I feel like I'd still be able to see things from both sides. And, um, yeah, I like that. This is the game. Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes have been dubbed the heir apparent to Brady, the next GOAT. Mahomes has not thrown a pass to Kelsey yet, but Kelsey threw one to him. You gotta respect that. Now he's leaving the league and receiving yards. Skip, that was a monster today. He is so fast. Oh, that's unbelievable. Oh my god, that was the moment. He gave him the peace sign, Winfield Jr. And we all know what happened after that. 75 yards! He led the reigning Super Bowl champions into Tampa, poised to destroy the aging Tom Brady. What a throw. Two, at the 10, cut back, touchdown. Touchdown and a win. And many said this game was a beatdown. I think the big thing is, is that you saw... He backflipped into the end zone. Is that not taunting? Batman without Robin last night. And that's Tom Brady without Bill Belichick. But I saw a Bucks team that figured it out. Harris for the touchdown on fourth and three. They found a way to claw back in it. All he did was bring them back from a 17 to nothing deficit. Touchdown, Evans. To within 27 24 by two fourth quarter long drives of 75 yards. And when it was over, they knew beyond all doubt they were capable of beating anyone. Play great. Play your good. Yes, sir. Tom Brady is washed. I'm sorry. It ain't happening. It's a pipe dream. Touchdown! Tell you what, this Miller played a far bigger role in this team throughout the season than I had first thought. The Bucks seemed to be a different team. And I knew he caught his some bombs. Way of working and handling himself would change the players and the coaches. Tampa Bay is for real. In a battle for the wild card, the Bucks soundly defeated the Vikings. For the Buccaneers, they can clinch a playoff berth today for the first time in a long time. They need a, you know, they need a little bit of luck. They got a win and then a, a Chicago, Minnesota tie. What's coming? Running and floating it to the corner. The end zone is caught for the touchdown. Game to the reception. The Falcons, the opening drive score. Fuck, this guy doesn't make it easy for himself, does he? He loves the comebacks, almost as if he lets a team get up in front, so just so that he can he can rally his team and come back. I mean, he hasn't made it easy for himself over the years, but 
He just keeps coming through. Brady led what is undoubtedly the greatest comeback to ever occur. Mm. 25 points, yes. To three with under two and a half left against these very same Falcons. Led by the same quarterback. That catch, mate. That fucking catch. <laughs> oh, just unbelievable. That's God's. That's God's doing. I'm telling you. What he did today for that group was simply incredible. Brady has been blessed. I love that look, eh? I love that little look out to the left. Oh, Wolverine's back. The Pats have three in the last four seasons. He's going for the kill, buddy. So is Snoop. He's not going for the field goal with Gaskowski. He's going to the fun zone. <laughs> the fun zone? Absolutely disgustingly sick. I'm the best there is at what I do. But what I do isn't very nice. Becomes tiring at a certain point, but somebody need to do something about it. Five titles since 2002. You could not live with your own failure. What did that bring you? Back to me. Right now, what they're doing is they're smashing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, this is not close. This is even funny. For all of the Tom Brady haters, this time the old man was supposed to get his, right? This time was supposed to be revenge time. What a throw. Get in, son. Go for it. Oh, Gronkowski gets a, a shoulder in his back for his troubles, but <laughs> they score a touchdown. <laughs> Nice Brady. There's so many different aspects of Tom Brady that he brings to your organization. We had a lot of talented players. We just didn't have the idea and the belief that we could win, and Tom Brady brought that with you. Fast caught ball, touchdown, Chris Godwin. Boy, a dart right on the hip of number 14. And the Buccaneers have scored two touchdowns here in the third quarter. He started off slow, but boy, has he had a good third quarter. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Matt Ryan and the Falcons can hold serve here. It's been a great second half. Just back and forth if you like offensive football. Let's go, boy. Late in the fourth, trailing by three. Tom is a great guy, man. He's been in my corner since day one. Antonio Brown. That gives me shivers all over my body. I want to listen to that again, bro. Brady had led yet another double digit comeback, extending his own record. And again.
Right, another thing I'm adding to the bucket list right here, right now, is, is seeing Gronk do a touchdown spike in real life. And he has this magical ability to get people to buy it. This is a throw from the pocket no one makes but Brady. The ball inches over the defender's hand. Is that Brown? How about you got Antonio Brown to buy it? This is the most look at me mother. And it is Antonio Brown for his second Tampa Bay touchdown. Antonio Brown scores a touchdown, drops to his knees, raises his arms up to God to say thank you. Yeah. And by God, God you mean. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will go. Oh, he's a look at me motherfucker, is he? Well, that's because he had six straight seasons with over a thousand receiving yards, you fuck. Oh my god. Uh, I've got to calm down. Ran. They're going to get routed. And I know I probably shouldn't say this is going to be a good old fashioned ass whoop if I believe. I don't believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be showing up like they did against the Detroit Lions in the playoffs. In NFL history, Ten men have a 40-touchdown season under their belts. Brady did it at age 43. Heading into the postseason, the Bucks would have to go on the road for every game. Guys, I need a drink. I'll be back in a minute. Nick Minute. If that offense does not fit him, it really doesn't. Pushing the ball downfield, that, that's not him. And it's been a year where he has been able to throw a deep 20 plus yards downfield, the most in the league. And people wonder, the no risk and no biscuit conversation with this Bruce Arians offense. They handled the Washington football team well. Time for the touchdown, Godwin. He beat Ronald Darby, and Chris Godwin extends the Tampa Bay lead. And set up a final match versus their nemesis. The Saints. Do you believe that he will pull off this upset in New Orleans? I don't, and I do think it would be an upset, not just according to the odds makers. I expect the Saints to win. They've been going up. They got, they got something to prove. We'll beat that guy two times. We got the proof. Okay, so in the last game, they got absolutely caned by these guys. But this is the playoffs, and this is Tom Brady. <laughs> I'm a 42 year old Breeze and 43 year old Tom Brady would be for all the marbles. This was picked, intercepted by the Bucks. And it's Murphy bunting down the sideline, knocked out at the three. <laughs> humiliated the Bucks twice. <laughs> From the three, Brady. But in the playoffs, Brady is a different animal. Absolutely. He sure is. This time, the Bucks came to play. My boy. Tom Brady's doing. You know how great he is. I can't let this guy down. I gotta work like him. I gotta lock him like him. Interception. Bang! Get off me, son. Denied for the high five by the riff. As Arians in his second year has taken the Bucks with the help from a 43 year old quarterback named Brady. It wasn't just yeah. the Saints season coming to an end, it was the career of Drew Brees. And you know what? Bill Belichick was right. Tom Brady, he looks 52. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn the grave of Clemson Day. Rage. Rage. Shivers, guys. Shivers. 
There ain't nothing like this sport, man. He went through Washington with the comeback player of the year. I mean, if God was on his side, he would have had uh, Washington and... Jeez, what's his name? Um, shit, what is that guy's name? It's, it's escaping me. Alex Smith. Okay, so if God was on Alex Smith's side, not only would he make the comeback, but they'd win the Super Bowl. Nope, it's Tom Brady. So he goes through Washington, he goes through New Orleans, he goes through Green Bay, and he goes through Mahomes. That's Alex Smith, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, and Patrick Mahomes. Anything. Brady floats in, he's getting out of it. Hall puts it in the perfect spot. He's 43 years old. He's on an obvious, clear decline that is not going to fix due to age, Jenna. What the hell are you on about, bro? <laughs> what an awesome opening oh, drive. Like, seriously. NFC Championship. Tom, calm and cool, takes him right down the field and sends a message to the Green Bay Packers. It's not going to work the way I thought it would. He said, when I suck, I'll retire. Five years later, he sucked. It's time to retire. It is caught. Touchdown. Bruce Arian said after the NFC Championship game, I thought it was really telling. He said, it just took one man. We needed one man to show us how to do it. They're down in nine. Brady slides. He's going for Godwin. Oh man, oh my god, so you need receivers to go out and catch those balls, mate. I'm telling you, that's a 50-50 catch, and that guy Godwin went out and got it. Working on Respect. On first down, Fournette stutter steps, and now... Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then you got guys at the running back position like that, who are just hungry, bro. Hungry. He's got a chip on his shoulder too. And it shows. What a run by Leonard Fournette. Rage. Rage. Against the tide. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he is a culture. You bring Tom Brady to your What a pick. Brady recognizes mid throw that the defense is in zone. If he throws the ball to the circle, the defenders will close and prevent the first down. So he adjusts and throws back shoulder, allowing the back's momentum to carry him past the sticks and pick up the first down. Brady goes for the deep shot. That was a oh Scotty Miller again. That was a big touchdown, man. Thirteen seconds to go in the half, and they score. You know that 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 one score before and after the halftime break are two of the mo most important times in the game, whether that be football or rugby. Touchdown before the half. It's back breaking. That is some back breaking. Ending uh, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady is going back to the Super Bowl, this time as a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brady, at age 43, in a new conference with no offseason or preseason, had taken a perennial loser Look at that. all the way to the Super Bowl. And the fact that he leads his team to victory in this game at Lambeau Field versus Aaron Rodgers, it's awesome stuff. And it's kind of a tale of two halves, but the first half... Is that Peyton Manning? So well, he had them playing catch-up the entire game. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. How about that? Good job. Go down the Super Bowl, baby. What do you think? That must be his son. The guy beat Drew Brees in New Orleans, Aaron Rodgers in the Packers, in Lambeau, 
First team to play the Super Bowl at home. Greatest quarterback ever, uh, Patrick Mahomes. Who's going to rip the baton right out of the old man's hands once and for all and then beat him senseless with it. A battle of the media, Doug. <laughs> the GOAT versus the baby GOAT. LeBron James and Michael Jordan, they're playing for the Super Bowl. Generation against generation. Oh, this is huge. This is huge, awesome. all right. Lion versus Young. Did you ever think we'd see him in this spot one more time? Who did Rob Gronkowski come out of retirement? Oh. Oh. And what does he do? Catch it over his outside shoulder. His teammates all love him. And spikes it. The old dude took the Lombardi and he cracked Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City over the head with it, and it was impressive. What looks easy? Fuck, that's nice. How many options did he roll through in split seconds? Then fires the pass to his old mate Gronkowski. I mean, shit. In of years of chemistry, the DB has his eyes on the quarterback. Both Gronk and Brady see this. Gronk's going inside. Gronk makes a sudden cut. Yeah. The perfect touchdown. I wish I could tell you the game was competitive, but it wasn't. I'm led to believe in this game, this was the first time that Tom Brady had a first quarter lead in a postseason game. Either a postseason game or a Super Bowl game. Either way, it gave him a good start. Everybody who has scored a point for the Buccaneers in tonight's ball game was not on the Buccaneer roster last year. But destroyed the defending champs. What a touchdown. Not touched. Not even touched. The passing of the torch would have to wait a little longer. One more snap, would you have guessed? And when the Super Bowl ended, the ball was <laughs> in the hands of Tom Brady. I don't know why we ever think it won. Football is 50 guys, 32 teams. The odds of doing this are astronomical. More than you can describe to anyone. You're a legend, man. Congrats, man. <laughs> I hadn't heard that yet. I had not heard uh, any interaction between those two quarterbacks. And for Patrick Mahomes to, to come up and say you're a legend, man, that's what I would have said. <laughs> Super Bowl MVP and Patrick Mahomes lost. Yeah, Two tutties in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe he chucked that Lombardi trophy. What do you think the commissioner thought about that? Up yours, motherfucker. Oh, guys. Wow, we. <sighs> He's a great man. This is a great sport. And you guys are great subscribers. I hope you've enjoyed those three videos. Because <sighs> I certainly have. I'm sitting here in Rockhampton, Australia. I've spent a good four and a half hours this morning making reaction videos and they've been some of the most fun I've ever made. So for those of you who are tuning in for the first time or for the hundredth time or possibly even for the thousandth time because there is almost 1900 videos on my channel. I want to say thank you so much. I want to let you guys go now. Um, this has probably been about 50 minutes long and it's been a fucking pleasure. So thank you so much for watching. 
All the best to the Bucks next year. The Jags are my team, but the Bucks are certainly my second team. Um, for, for reasons you may well know now. So, thank you so much. And peace out.